Not everything went as we had planned. And the day started in Glasgow and I was full of hopes. Today I was invited by a friend to go camping in the wild Scotland. And when he said we were going to cook some paneer in a spicy masala sauce, I think it's called kadai paneer. Well, that's what he convinced me. Paneer for me is one of the most amazing things to eat in the world. I couldn't really say no, even if this means like facing the wilderness of Scotland, the wind and the rain, like whatever. And sometimes you are being offered an adventure and you either take that train or you are left behind watching the train depart. And I'm taking that train today. I'm not joking, I'm actually taking a train from Glasgow. I will meet Vishal at the train station. And from there we will have to reach an area of Scotland which is called Loch Lord in the west coast. There's a train station in the middle of nowhere and that's where we start our hiking trip towards um, our camping destination. Show me your breakfast we shall for today. I'm eating roasted peanuts <laughs> and a sneaker. <laughs> Is that gonna be enough for our trekking? I don't yeah. think it's enough energy. Yes, please. Thank you. Uh, we're not gonna get lost. We need to go to the starting point, right? From where we yeah. are. Yeah, to be honest, if the, if the weather stays like this, I'm super happy. May turns uh, really I bad. I find some more sun. <laughs> yeah. I don't want it to rain. I don't like when it rains while hiking. If you don't like rain, you live in the wrong place. Yeah. You have to hike those mountains, yeah? Yeah, it's still a two hours hike, isn't it? Yeah. It's impressive how far I can go when someone promises me some paneer. So that's a Bothi. This is the starting point of the peninsula and we just have to go down south. And I mean it was a beautiful day and it was actually sunny and everything seemed perfect. So we reached the start of the trail and we were quite pumped up. Then there's like a peninsula. Mm -hmm. So we have to go from north of the peninsula to the southern tip. And on the right. southern tip there's a beach and it's going to be a two hour long hike. That's nice. Yeah, so it's we fine. are going to hike for two, two and a half hours now. <laughs> Great, it's great. Let's hope Scotland blesses us with <laughs> its weather. Yeah, it was looking so nice this morning. Mind your steps. Yeah, not, not useful. <laughs> yeah, we're going behind this mountain. Behind that mountain? Yeah, we have to go up the mountain and down. Okay. This is really beautiful. This is the true wilderness of Scotland. That's the stretch. The last stretch can already smell the paneer. I think we made it. Feels good, yeah. Lots of things can still go wrong. Did I actually tell you that? I've never tried my gear, like I never opened my tent and never opened my uh, my sleeping you bag. Have not I've not tested it. I'm not tested it. the tent. And we start to cook by 4.30, everything should be finished. Look at that! Ah, uh, salami! The star of the day! Chorizo in the wilderness! We managed to set up our tent, everything looked neat, and that's where it started downpouring. Cold and strong wind and so much rain, we had to go back into our tents and say pretty much a lot to the project. It was just raining too much, we couldn't start cooking. However, at some point um, it stopped raining and we kind of found the courage to sort of go out of our tents and 
start preparing stuff. It went from super cloudy to, you know, we could see the stars. It was quite incredible, but it was very dark. I can't believe it. Like it was, uh, it was downpouring. And my tent was collapsing, and we've got a moon. We might actually be able to cook the paneer. See the stars, see, we can see the moon. It's, it, this, is, this is absolutely... You okay, man? Yeah, I'm okay. I just need to start to move so that I get warm. Yeah. So we're actually cooking, yeah? Yes. So that's the light, see, so many LEDs. Just turn that off, you see? <laughs> it's so we put the fire on, let's just chop things, maybe you can help me. Yeah, okay, so what do you have? You've got an onion, yeah? Onion, pepper, paneer and tomatoes, we need to cut these stuff. Cut this these juice. Are, these are spice mix that I prepared before coming. Hey man, let's chop all the stuff, man. Can't believe we're actually so making it. It's not going to be properly, finely chopped. Like restaurant, <laughs> we don't have a chopping board no, in the proper I, I, I Actually, I don't, I don't mind actually. Yeah. Beautiful paneer. Yes, we bought from an Indian store from Glasgow. We're going to make Q. For a good paneer, ideally, we should uh, soak it in warm water for 10 minutes before cooking. But because... Because we are in the wilderness. <laughs> we, are in the wilderness. And we are freezing. <laughs> we are not gonna do that. <laughs> that actually softens it. Yeah, hopefully no deer is gonna charge against us. Today. Yeah, so <laughs> <laughs> we were going for a walk on the beach and there was a deer with like, I don't know whether it was deer or some, some type of deer. Like yeah. some, 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 something from the family of antelopes. <laughs> and he has like two very spiky horns and he tried to charge on us. Okay, that's... I give you one for tasting. Are you giving me some paneer? So paneer is actually fine to to taste yeah, without it's, necessarily it's like cooking it. Yeah. Cheers. 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 Let's try the paneer. I never tried the paneer. Not non cooked paneer. Mm. It doesn't have. It's like halloumi without the salt. Hmm. Yeah. You can help me with the garlic. Garlic first because I need garlic at the start. Skin just simply comes off. If you hit the nose hard. How fine do you want the garlic? Uh, no, don't, don't be like very this because most of the things here are not very fine right now. Oh, okay. These are like compact gas stoves and the gas. We don't ah. have the <laughs> wood to make the fire. Now we just have to turn on and light the fire but it's so windy therefore i'm going to put my this thing first good so garlic is ready right chopped garlic is ready yeah so i'm going to put two tablespoons of oil because oil is good <laughs> can you also chop the chilies yeah with meat first yeah roughly chopped yeah yeah Oh, this is gonna open up our nose even more. Let's hope my cylinder lasts <laughs> for half an hour. <laughs> it should. <laughs> <laughs> Otherwise, we will eat raw tomatoes and garlic. That's a lot of ingredients here. Like, are, is this small pan and, and this gas gonna be able to cook? All of this? Yeah, 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 nothing is happening. Maybe it's the wind. Let me try putting it down. Yeah, do you want to put it maybe in front of a tent? Why? I don't know, just to protect it. Oh, tent catches fire, bro. <laughs> <laughs> that was some oh, no, next now. level advice from someone who's clearly working, not working, working. not doesn't have enough experience yeah. in wilderness. No, 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 it's popping now. It's good. So we are now putting the onions and the chili. Oh, where what? is my spoon? I need to find my spoon. Oh, so you have the chopstick, right? Yeah, chopstick chopstick. Yeah, yeah. Oh, it's cooking fine. You can smell the onion. The spice, spice mix. mix. Yeah. It's the spice mix. The spice mix. Okay. So I prepared this. Uh, it is like um, dried red chilies with a lot of coriander seeds. Oh my god, the aroma that comes from that man. Yeah, fennel seeds. They're all roasted, so you can smell it. Oh my god, man. I put it on. 
<laughs> oh my god. Can I go yeah, all the way? Yeah, all the way. Put everything. All, all that you got. Man, like, I'm not joking. Like, what is yeah, this? It's sweet it's aroma. Up. Yeah, that's sweet. Is there cinnamon or something? It's fennels. Water. Water. Yeah, do you want to get it? Now it has to boil for some time. Then I can put money and the other salt. And That's a very creamy chicken korma. Basically, we realized that we were being surrounded by a herd of deers. I know, like, deers are supposed to be like shy animals and all of that, but I mean, it was quite scary because I've never seen deers at night like getting so so close to you, and they would usually run away. But we could see their shiny eyes. In, in the dark and they were kind of producing this weird noise like I wasn't sure whether they were wanting our food or we were being considered by them like an enemy in their territory I don't know what was happening but it was super scary and I asked Vishal to stop all of that and to go back in our tent we pretty much once again had abandoned um, you know, our project you know cooking in the wilderness um, Oh yeah, this is Kashmiri korma. It's so sweet and so creamy. Hmm. Pineapple in this in this curry. So this is pineapple. Wow. Hmm. This is a genius. It was dif very difficult to sleep, but eventually, um, around five a.m., we woke up again. We decided to go back to cooking so we brought all our ingredients back and we finished cooking the paneer and yeah eventually that became our breakfast so it's almost 7 a.m. and the deers are gone and we are gonna pursue it our dream of having paneer in the wild Scotland after being scared last night by a herd of of deers. I need some more water. Uh, that's all. That's all I got. Let's boil it for three four minutes. Looks yummy. <laughs> Cooking with chopsticks. The whole idea of kadai paneer kadai is like a pot, an mm -hmm. iron pot. Which I'm using in a non-stick pan, right. but it has to be like oh, a iron pot. Nothing. What's that? Finally, we have to put cream into it. Thick cream. It has to be like two to three tablespoons, but let's go a little generous. Yeah, my god, that's that's a curry coming through. That's that's quite some breakfast. I'm quite excited. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> we're cooking on the back of a booty. Booty, not booty, booty. <laughs> booty. <laughs> we could have moved in if this booty was still working. You see, the color is changing into beautiful reddish. Uh, yeah. yellowish color. So we're getting the color now. Is it good? Spicy. It's very spicy. Yeah, it turns out more spicy than I thought it's going to be. That's good. <laughs> I can handle it. I don't know how if you're going to handle it or not. It's I can spicy. handle it. Like, can I just try? So where is my... I... Okay, okay. And I think it's also hot, therefore it gives you a little shock. Okay. Very spicy, right? It's very spicy. It's more than very nice cake, yeah. Indian level kind of spice. Yeah, it's proper, proper desi proper, cooking. Proper, yeah. Nice. Oh man, it's it's bubbling now properly. We needed this concentration. Ah, mm. man. <coughs> mm. <laughs> this is the dream. We've got our curry. We've got some pita bread. Yeah. It's still very dark, but we're gonna dig in. They will actually. Six pita bread, I ate three at the night, I was so hungry. <laughs> uh, Alright. <clears throat> okay. To be honest, do you want me to roast them a bit? We can. Just to make it a little bit more... Yeah, also light is coming out, so it's perfect timing. Ah, oh, it's nice and warm. Mm. Let's finish so that we can start to move. Yeah. Just like that. Mm. Oh. Mmm. Now don't feel cold anymore. 
it's totally worth it mm. fighting with the storm fighting with those deers <laughs> it's totally worth it <laughs> That's how you do it. Five minutes. See, so yeah, yeah, eventually we managed to cook and eat our paneer, but it, it didn't really go very smooth. But thanks again to Vishal. Vishal is another YouTuber. He does video revolving around food and cooking. I'll put his link in. The description below go and check it out because his videos are really fun and entertaining to watch we'll probably be able to collaborate again give it a thumb up if you enjoyed this video and um, i'll see you in this other next video